for me it's the variety of day-to-day -day activities that I can get involved with from performing ECGs and echocardiograms and outpatient setting and then the following day I can be helping doctors performing life-saving procedures on uh, patients who are in need of critical care. For me, it's being involved on a day-to-day -day basis with patients in a patient-facing role. So being able to directly influence the pathway a patient receives from when they first see you in an outpatient's department right the way through to the end of care and follow-up. Predominantly, the most challenging things are keeping on top of the work, such as your e-portfolio and your university commitments, whilst balancing a full-time job. That can be quite tricky given the, the workload demands that are placed on you. However, if you remain motivated and willing to put in the extra hours, you'll find it more than capable. Remain motivated and keep pushing yourself into new experiences. For instance, I'm part of my local training network and I've been to several conferences already in my first year. I'm definitely keen to pursue either a career in research via the HSST or a PhD and focus more academically. The STB gives a good grounding in um, research sciences and gives me the expertise to be able to pursue a career in research in the future. When I arrived, I was lucky enough to have a training officer who was, um, who'd already planned the majority of my rotations. However, now I'm experienced in the goings on of the STP, I've been able to develop my training program with my training officer, uh, tailoring it to my needs and my special interests moving forward. By doing it all the time. So any time I've got a, a free moment or that is quite quiet in clinic, I might just get out the iPad or the laptop and just type away what I've just been doing or making notes as I go and making sure that when I, when I finish my rotations, I've completed all the competencies that I need to fulfill.